Russia is the largest country on Earth, stretching across 11 time zones. But here's something surprising. Only about 10 to 15% of that land is actually suitable for comfortable living. Most people live in the western part of the country, where the climate is more balanced, the soil is fertile, and cities are well connected. Southern regions along the Black Sea also offer milder weather, ideal for agriculture, tourism, and year-round living. Even parts of western Siberia have developed into thriving communities, despite long, cold winters. But much of Russia, especially across northern and eastern Siberia is cold, remote, and sparsely populated. So what does Russia do with all that space? For starters, Siberia holds massive reserves of oil, gas, coal, gold, diamonds, and timber. These resources are vital to Russia's economy and energy exports. Its remoteness also makes it ideal for military use, like housing missile silos, storage facilities, and secure testing areas. Some parts still serve as locations for remote prisons, continuing a legacy that dates back to the Soviet-era gulags. It even plays a role in Russia's space program. And because Siberia connects Europe to Asia, it's a key corridor for trade, energy pipelines, and rail transport like the Trans-Siberian Railway. Russia sees Siberia as central to accessing and managing these northern frontiers. So while most Russians live in a small part of the country, the rest of the land, especially Siberia, still plays a huge role in shaping Russia's economy, strategy, and future.